What's up guys, new Mixer here, a uh, quick update video regarding my ROM hack, Pokemon uh, Dark Rainbow, which I am currently playing uh, for this video in Nucleo City, the last city um, that you may enter before you uh, finish the current beta version, but um, new beta coming in soon to version 2, so be prepared, subscribe so you know when it's out. And yeah, um, pretty much this video is gonna focus on the gym leader applications. Which gym leader spots? Cool. Elite four. Uh, got three spots open, so I'm gonna wait till I get quite a few applications, and I'm gonna go through all of them and pick one. But a lot of people didn't listen to the application rules, right? Um, the rules at the top of the application page on the website, which is in the description, is that they have to be you can't like start putting in a type that's different than any of the types in the dropbox and you can't use pokemon that are from generation four five or six it doesn't it says gen, you have to use pokemon from ruby sapphire emerald gen 3 or Pokemon 4 and the reason for that is because this is based off fire red the only pokemon in it are pokemon gen 3 and 4 and i don't feel like going through the process of adding like all of the four, five, and six Pokemon. I will. I'm not gonna add any four, five, or six Pokemon in this game. Period. But I have added some Pokemon that are custom Pokemon, never in any Pokemon game, made completely by uh, three of. Well, they're not made completely by me, but they're based off of characters from other games. And then one of them is uh made completely by me, pretty much. Um. And yes, I find it important to tell you guys that. If you really want a spot in the Elite Four, uh, you gotta you gotta listen to this. You gotta use Pokemon from Generation Three and before, because uh, as I've said for the Gym Leader application, which I will not be doing for the Elite Four since you will only be allowed to pick five Pokemon, and I have to like this entire team in its entirety, and no, I'm not gonna substitute Pokemon for your team because I I think most of it's good. I need to like your entire team if you want to get picked. So. You gotta put together a good team that you think would look good in a game and would be a good challenge, but not too challenging and not too easy. Um, and the reason for this mostly is, yes, like I don't know how to explain it. Like I, like people have not really been giving me good. Like I've gotten good applications and I've only used one of them so far. Uh, I've only needed one so far, but I'm looking forward to using three more because all the other people that all the other gym leaders are based off of real life friends and they come before some people on the internet. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean, but yes, you guys got to listen to what I'm saying because don't try to think like, oh, you're stupid. I'm going to fill it out how I want because I'm the one who gets to pick and that's just a waste of your and my time. So yes, yes, please listen and Will, and maybe you'll end up being in the Elite Four. When you're making your teams, yes, Generation 3 and before, and don't make them too strong. Like, the fly I've gotten so many flying-type gyms with Gyarados in them, and I think, like, like make the team fit the type. I, I know Gyarados is a flying-type, but it honestly doesn't fit a flying-type gym to me. Like, it might be a flying-type, doesn't mean it belongs with other flying-type in a team, because, yes, doesn't even learn any flying type attacks in this game, guys. But I, I've just gotten really strong teams to try to refrain from using legendaries. That's a big step. And yes, that's pretty much it. Yes, generation three and four, and try not to use legendaries and make your team too powerful or too weak as well. Because I've gotten teams with all like starters of the one type without evolving at all, and I'm thinking. That's like the first gym, and you know we're already at the fifth at least based on the beta. That's another thing. Please play the beta before you apply. That would really help out because you would kind of see like, oh, I'm not seeing any Generation 4 or 5 Pokemon in here. Oh, he probably doesn't have them. Exactly. That's all I'm trying to say. But thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this is like the fifth time I'm recording this because I've made them like way too long each other time. <laughs> um... So, yes, thanks for watching, and please, if you really want a spot in this game, yes, 
make sure to listen and use appropriate names too. Like if you make your nobody has like disobeyed this rule yet, but if you make your name Dick Nose for your trainer's name, I'm not even gonna look at your application, okay, Dick Nose. <laughs> But yes, tr and uh, another thing, if you want me to to contact you, letting you know if you have made the spot, put an email address or a, uh, a way to contact you next to your trainer name in parentheses, and I will definitely um, message you or send you an email saying that you have been like, yay, hey, your application is accepted, welcome to the Elite Four, buddy. And you can go tell all your friends, I'm gonna be in the Elite Four, and you could spoil it for everybody. Or you can just let them see. You could say, hey, play this drum hack, and when you get to the Elite Four, make sure to look at the names really closely, okay, man? Yeah, and yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys soon uh, making more videos, making more updates. Get that, uh, get that beta version. Beta version 2 coming in hot. I'll be finishing up some final touches, and it'll be out. So, stay, stay prepared for that, and this has been the Noob Next Door, and I am out of here.